were the refugees and the Burmese who came for the international conference. I was afraid they will say, you are one of them too. You think you're doing the right thing. I talked with them, the senior uh, elders, and they said, this should be how it should be. So I talked with the refugees here, and then the Burmese who flew for the conference. I don't know how to put it bluntly. I shouldn't. <coughs> it's not in my culture to put it bluntly to the dominant service providers. Could you show me the way? <laughs> to the truth, how I should tell the dominant uh, people to using the dominant model. You're asking me specifically? Yeah, I'm asking you. So it's in a journey. Yeah, that's the next step. Or cleaning it up. We're thinking already of, yeah, one journal. Yeah. I'm still reviewing an article and the uh, editor is pressuring me to finish my review. Once I'm done, uh, clean this up and submit it. Yeah, you're right. Well, that provides greater weight and credibility, particularly probably removing specific names for confidentiality so they probably wouldn't feel so attacked. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Maybe you want to hold some workshops with practitioners? That's right, yeah. I should tell Maria, which means she has to get more funding to get her people to know. Yeah, that's good, yeah, yeah. Right, another community dialogue among the practitioners. Yeah, part two, yeah, right. The debriefing, yeah, of the whole process. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Please. Look, Carrie, I do speak a little bit of it. Oh, I guess I'm tired. Wow. taga bisaya pinamanak ako sa Manila. Ang papa ko galing sa China. Okay. I have a tribe here. John and I. So, um, do you think uh, these findings or these models could be applied to other refugee training camps? Also? Yeah. In fact, yeah. What we found on Marines, we just spoke with you know when you write a period, that should be parsing on you have to focus on variables. Yeah, she found that even among the Eritreans and the Ethiopians, the same thing. They were saying, working factories. But Marie said, stop it, you know, let me talk with them. So she said, uh, not, remember, not talk to, but talk with them. Big difference. And she found out, some said, you know, I want to open a restaurant. We actually ate there. And then, uh, I don't know if it's Eritrean or Ethiopian or slash food. It was wonderful. So one opened a restaurant. Uh, with the help of the refugee service organization of Maria. And then another said, yeah, but for me to do delivery, I need transport. So instead of buying a car, he had a taxi. So he can slash do delivery and slash do taxi service with a, with a vehicle. So yeah, in other communities, it can be done. She also worked with Iraqis. I, I forgot what she said. I had no time to visit all the groups. I said, I, can't, I have to focus on one area. Yeah, it can be applied in the sense that using the culturally sensitive model, of finding out maybe people come with different skills and do whatever they want. And we had some, I think there was some Eritrean who was here, farming with them because he said, I want to farm. Yeah, so it could be applied to some other communities indeed. Thank you very much.